folks, Troy with V-Twins the V8, uh, coming on to you with a new video today, a little project that I'm going to do using uh, Lizard Skin. Lizard Skin is um, a spray-on sound control. They also make a insulation, a temperature control, but you have to apply the sound control first. So what I'm going to do is walk you through this whole thing. So I've got a 64 Impala SS on the rotisserie in the spray booth. I've got my two gallons of lizard skin um, sound control and I've got my lizard skin little tool kit here that has uh, everything in it we need to apply the lizard skin. So if you look you get this little kit like this. They give you a spray gun. They give you a little um, a uh, swizzle stick to go in your drill to, to agitate this material and a little um, instruction sheet. And also you get this mill gauge so you can measure the thickness of your material and make sure that you have the correct amount of material applied. So I mean the, the gun is pretty much like an old siphon feed um, spray gun. Alright folks, so we're back here on this Lizard Skin project and I'm getting prepared. Some of the things that you will need is a drill of some sort to spin the, the agitation device, a bucket of water to clean your material, clean up your, your agitator and the gun and stuff. It's a water based thing so think of it like, I'm assuming like latex paint in your house so I have a five gallon bucket set up in the spray booth with some warm water in it for this I've got my lizard skin here I'm gonna bring that in it says to agitate it for two minutes I have my spray gun I put a regulator on there they recommend 60 to 70 psi to apply the material also the setting for the nozzle is to run it all the way down back it out two full turns. I've done that and I've got a Tyvek suit and I got some rubber gloves. It looks like this might be a little bit of a messy project. I've got my car set up in the booth. I'm gonna get all of this in there. We'll set you up. I got a few cameras in there so you can watch this whole process and we're gonna get to it. Alright folks, so here we are. Got my car set up on the rotisserie. I've taped off everything in the car. I've got my lizard skin, I got my agitator, I got my bucket of water, and I've got my um, my spray gun. So what I'm going to do is I'm go ahead and open this up and I'm going to agitate this. Looks like kind of a purpley mess. It says to do this for two minutes. Got quite the uh, consistency, I will have to say that. Doesn't feel like it's settled or anything at the bottom. You can see the top of the lid has some of the material, looks like it's kind of dry. It feels rubbery. settled or anything at the bottom. You can almost see it smoothing out. It gets an interesting consistency. Alright, I'll put that in my bucket. I'll we'll have to worry about that. Now, there's a few things that I want to go over with you. I taped the whole outside of the car off. Any areas on the inside of the car that I didn't want to be coated, I taped off. So, and I used bolts in all of my holes where my seats and everything go. All my accessories are bolted to the floor that I have bolts in. I went ahead and I put bolts in those holes to save those holes so I won't have to worry about chasing them out later. At this point, I'm going to put the material in the gun and we're, uh, we're going to give it a whirl. I'm 
gonna love that. Love it. This is awesome. So here we go. I got it all applied to the inside of my roof panel here. And uh, if you look at it close, it kind of goes on like the consistency of rubberized undercoating, rocker shoots, bed liner, what have you. So now I'm going to continue on. I'm going to get up in here. I'm going to do all up inside this dash next, and then I'll roll it over and I'll do the floor last. So. You can see what the inside of it looks like a little bit here. I'm going to show you it being applied. So I got this much of it done here. I'm going to just hold the camera and I'm going to apply this in. So here it is. This is the uh, this is the trunk area, and as you can see, I mean, it looks really good. It cleans everything up super nice. Look down through the inside. I mean, I got the car turned right now, but yeah, here you go. You see the whole inside of the car. Boom. All right, folks. So I'm back. My first coat is on the vehicle. It looks pretty good. It's still a little soft. I would imagine this must work like paint. And uh, what happens is, is you wait about an hour, it flashes, and then you can reapply. I see some areas that look a little wet. I see some areas that are definitely dry. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put my gun and my, uh, my gun together and, and remix this, uh, the remainder of my material and apply a second coat. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the camera and I'm going to give you a close up of what it looks like after one coat. Like that. Come back here. You can see the roof is all done. So we're going to work on getting this uh, gun back together and uh, this material stirred up and we are going to have at this. Stuff cleaned up pretty nice. I really can't complain. The wash down like nothing. I mean, you know, if anybody's ever sprayed uh, latex materials, it's very similar to that. It's got a heavy consistency to it, but uh, yeah, the cleanup was it wasn't bad at all. Yeah. 
wing up the left rest of the water. She's done now. I mean, you can kind of see what I got going on here. It looks really good. I really like it. I'll pan you around. I'll show you what we got. I mean, this is what it's looking like. Let's back a little bit. Get an idea. I mean, it just cleans everything up. I mean, we'll see what it's like, you know, afterwards. But as far as the, uh, if it lays down anymore, but it doesn't really matter. You know, this is all inside the car. It's all going to be covered with something. You know, so I think it looks pretty good. I, I really liked it. It goes everywhere. I got inside the quarter panels and everything all down in there. I mean, you got, I got all inside the roof and everything. I mean, honestly, you know, for me to do a project like this in Dynamat, I mean, it would be all day. And I probably only have maybe a couple hours of actual work time on it. All right, folks, so there you have it. There's the Lizard Skin application. I really, really like this product. I thought it was great. It sprayed really good. Uh, it was easy to apply. It was easy to mix. It was easy to clean up. It's water-based, so it's basically just like washing your your tools when you paint something latex in your house. The gun, it was really easy to clean. It's super simple, there's nothing to it. This part comes off, the, uh, the cup comes off. You take this uh, 12, uh, 11 millimeter, and you take this off, and this handle comes off, and that's it. You rinse it all out with water, I blew it all dry. Everything's great, um, I'm, ready to, I'm ready to go again. Um, so, my thoughts on it are great product. Uh, I didn't really, I, right now I'm not sure as I like the sound deadening as much as the Dynamat. But the Dynamat is sound deadening and temperature control kind of baked into one application. Whereas this you've got to apply the uh, ceramic insulation. And I think that the insulation is going to create even more sound deadening. So I'm going to do another video and it's going to be on the whole application of the ceramic insulation. So stay tuned for that. I, I can't do another video. I can't do this application for 24 to 36 hours, they said. So I was let it sit for a couple days, get, get good and dry, and then we'll, uh, we'll fire up the cameras and the guns and everything, and we'll put the uh, insulation to it. One of the things I did like about this product was, besides the ease of application, it gets in all the little nooks and crannies and everything that you can't really get dynamat into you know you're cutting little strips you're tucking it in these little areas this stuff here it's just like <coughs> it's like um rocker schutz or rubberized undercoat and it just blasts into all these little nooks and crannies uh, it seals everything up I, I really liked it for that i think you could use it in a lot of other applications i think you could you know if you want to do the out underneath of your car the floor pan of it and clean it right up and and have the sound deadening property as well and have one nice even surface that's nice and smooth and clean i think that that'd be a great application for it obviously inside of trunks inside of you know like jeep inside of a jeep or inside of the bed of a pickup truck or something i it just i think it's just great um so uh, I appreciate you tuning into the video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the uh, in the comments below. 
below my description you'll see a little little sentence says show more if you click on that the full description of this video is in there along with some links where you can get all these products yes I will get a small kick for you buying it through my link I'd appreciate that it would really help me out I mean it takes a lot of time and effort to do these videos versus just grabbing the stuff and going you got cameras you got multiple cameras there's a lot of learning curve for me doing this too but I have a lot of fun doing it I like it I like communicating with people and helping people with their projects and it just adds another dimension to something that I've done as a passion as a hobby as, as a you know livelihood my whole life has been working on cars so I appreciate you tuning in. I hope you would like and subscribe to my channel and support me and I can do more and more of these videos. If you have something that you'd like me to, to cover or show you how to do or review or go over, feel free to leave me a comment. I'll put it on my to-do list. My to-do list is getting a little long, but you know, hey, it's all good. It's all fun. So um, thanks for tuning in and um, good luck on your projects.